One of the most challenging aspects Gar had to come with during both part one and early part two was the fear of falling asleep. He knew that if he succumbed to slumber, Shikaku would seize control of his body, posing a threat to the sand village as well as endangering his family. Gar, recognizing his unique ability to suppress Shikaku, was determined to prevent any potential harm. From childhood to middle adolescence, which is one year to 15 years, Gar was in a potential state of weakness due to the lack of central sleep his body required. The crucial role of sleep in his well-being made it even more challenging for him to maintain stability. In the final training exam, Shikaku began to resurface when Gar passed out, a result of Sasuke injuring him with a suidori. It marked the first instance of Gar experiencing pain and bleeding. Subsequently, during the intense battle in the forest against Naruto and Sasuke, Shikaku was particularly unleashed from Gara. Although it was the first and only time Shikaku emerged, it didn't reach its full power because Gara wasn't completely asleep. Naruto intervened by waking Gara up with a headbutt, preventing Shikaku from attaining its full potential. Also, Gara returned to his normal body after the headbutt, and Shikaku is back to being sealed in his body. The first instance when Shikaku was unleashed from Gara remains the only occasion when Gara actively sought to use Shikaku's power. This decision arose because Orochimaru orchestrated a scheme manipulating the Sand Village ninjas to coerce Gara into attacking the Leaf Village. In another situation, Gara will find himself striving to prevent Shikaku from emerging, necessitating his vigilance to remain awake. That is all. You should subscribe to my channel. Also, like the video if you like the video and comment with your own opinion. Now. Peace.